welcome to yet another episode of Tuesday Connect where we have authentic conversations about everyday life issues. Karibu sana if you are visiting here for the very first time. Um, please hit uh, the subscribe button, uh, like our videos. This will ensure that every time we have content, it comes your way. Now today we continue with uh, an exciting topic that we've been talking about. Uh, we've been talking about power, money, and eventually we'll talk about sex. And uh, last two weeks we were talking about money. Uh, I think you, you remember how Akina Sam was singing on set, right? Uh, and and we, are, we, are, we are praying, we are praying for them, you know. But anyway, we are, we are grateful for that conversation. I hope that it was uh, helpful. And today we continue to uh, carry on with this conversation. And I am joined by two of my colleagues here at Mamlaka Hill Chapel. Uh, let me start with a lady uh, on the right. This is Nancy Nyadogora. She's one of our pastors here. Uh, and this is Barak Angao as well, one of the pastors here at Mamlaka Hill Chapel. Now, let me begin with a question, yeah? Have you ever bought something that you later regretted? Uh, have you ever bought something that you later thought, Aki, I did not need this thing? Yeah? Think about that for like a couple of seconds, yeah? But let me begin with uh, this, guys. Uh, I think I'll begin with Nyato. Uh, have you begun, have, have, you, have you bought something that later you just thought, I don't think that was a very wise choice uh, to make? Well, I wouldn't say that it wasn't a wise choice. Yeah. It's just that the psych I bought it with is not the psych I utilize it with. So I remember when uh, I transitioned from my 6kg maker to a 4 burner. I was so sure I'll be cooking, oh, yeah. so, you know, I'll be yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll be baking and grilling. Yeah. Now three three courses, you, you know, know like meals, it, it wouldn't take two proteins to and stuff. Then you discover, I, well, I don't even <laughs> grill or bake as much. Once, if you're lucky, twice a month. And I'm like, uh, okay. Yeah, well, it sorts out the cooking bit at the top, but uh, it didn't justify the rest, the rest all the other things they had said about it. <laughs> I guess it was just one of those things I, I got and yeah. I was happy to get. Awesome. Right. Mm. Barak, I don't know if you... Yeah. I think there's a word for it. I think it's called bias remorse. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Yes. You, just that feeling that you have after you've bought something and you're feeling, ah, yeah. no. Me, I remember there's a day I passed by current shopping center and I saw a jacket on the street and I thought, I want this jacket. But then I was like, um, my bro who I was with at that moment mentioned, you have enough jackets in this <laughs> color. Don't get this jacket. So I ensured we went home with him. Mm -hmm. And then I came the next day <laughs> <laughs> and got the jacket. When he wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. And then it's when it hit me. Ah, did I have to come all the way? I went, you know, I have to go all the way to Karen, go a little army matatus. So much on my fair. Karen, yeah. And then I'm like, ah, yeah, mother, he was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think we have plenty of those, um, you know, circumstances from time to time. Uh, I was talking to a friend earlier who told me, I think she bought um, cereal, yeah, terere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. and yeah. today she still <laughs> asked me, why exactly did I do that? Terere you doesn't know? sound like something you want to add <laughs> in cereal. <laughs> Are you saying like Weetabix? Uh, yes, yes. Cereal. So I don't even know what that looks like. Like yeah. I've, I've actually purposed to, to just tell her, like, just bring me some. Just no. <laughs> I want wow. to experience okay. that a little yeah. bit, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm not sure it's uh, you know. I mean, I, I know I'm not sure what to expect, but we'll see when it comes. Mm. Um, but I think that's that's uh, maybe that's a good place to start out this conversation mm -hmm. because today uh, we've titled this episode "God Cares About the 90." And really, the conversation is about stewardship, how we steward our wealth. I think uh, maybe for, for those of us, uh, for those who are Christians, uh, they probably know that, you know, 10% belongs to God uh, and they'll give money mm -hmm. um, uh, very faithfully, you know. Uh, and then it's kind of like YOLO with, uh, with the rest. It's, it's, I can pretty much do whatever it is that I want to do, like with the rest of the 90. And, and the question, maybe that's what we wanted to investigate this um, episode. So I'd like to begin with you, uh, Baraka. Uh, what has been your experience, even in just like uh, your approach to money uh, and your approach to like the 90%, uh, what has your experience been? Obviously, first is to define what is stewardship. Yeah. Because then it has undertones of holding it in trust for another. That there is an owner, so the square caretaker is, and there is the owner and it is the fact that you are taking care of it for that person. When you when I bring that to mind, then I discover my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do I hold money in that regard? That there is an owner of this money, 
he has given me for a reason, for a season, mm -hmm. and that I'll also give an account for that. I believe as well that yeah, once, once you've gotten out of the mind of the giving, I've given my tithe, I've given for whatever cost it is, I hardly, and I doubt if you and any of you ever thinks of it in that sense, yeah. that, that the rest of it, there's an honor, and that I'm giving it and spending it and then I will have to give an account for that. Yeah. I hardly ever think about it that way. Baraka, you mentioned something there that mm -hmm. uh, has reminded me of a very important person uh, in most of our neighborhoods, caretaker. <laughs> 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 I think uh, other than our prefects, high school prefects, hey, 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 hey man, caretaker <laughs> has a lot of power, has a lot of power in, in most of our neighborhoods and stuff. And, and maybe that even the, the idea of just a caretaker is, is probably, probably <laughs> one, one helpful way of thinking about it, right? Because uh, he holds keys and stuff and is kind of in charge, but he's not the owner. Uh, per se, he's pretty much managing the property, uh, you know, on behalf of someone else. But I think, yeah, that's a very helpful perspective. Nyado. Uh, first of all, I, 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 I don't qualify to sit here because I have not made it in terms of my stewardship for the resources I have. However, this is a conversation about the reality of where we are and where we need to go. Uh, I think about, uh, you kind of mentioned like it's, it's pretty obvious that the Christian gives their 10% and then they are left with the 90. But I recognize people also struggle with the 10% mm -hmm. because you're looking at maybe the glaring needs that you have and, and, and the, the limited resources. And you feel like, Aki God, to understand. If I don't <laughs> give you no, it's because it's for this. Yeah. So there's that bit. And then uh, there's also the, when I give my 10%, God, you notice I have given. Like, yeah. this is gonna, this is to secure. This is mm. insurance for my 90. <laughs> like, Don't I'm giving this. Uh, I, that please, please note, me. I gave. Mm -hmm. So protect me from the locust and everything, any, anything that devours my finances. So sometimes I think the approach we have is... Uh, the 10% is me being a good steward of the 90. So I'm making sure that the 90 is safe. And then now when I get to the 90, uh, people get to the place where, see, I gave the 10. So, yeah. so like Baraka is saying, being cognitive of the fact that God uses money, uh, how would I put it? It's a tool God uses to mold us in Christ likeness. So it's not just you give the 10, and so you focus on the, the lady in the Bible who, who is applauded for giving her everything. So people have the mindset that once I have given the 10, it's just about me giving it. It's about as much as I can bring to the house and that's it. Then the rest is mine. But I think our perspective has to be how does God want to use even the 90 to mold me in Christ likeness? Yeah. All right. That's awesome. I think that's that's very helpful uh, perspective. And when you think about, uh, you've, you've mentioned something that I think, uh, I don't know if you guys have, have struggled with this, that usually the person we borrow from the most is God. Mm -hmm. You know, like if, 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 if I wanted to, if I didn't have enough maybe for this month and stuff and, and I was looking for money elsewhere, the, the first thing that kind of, I'm like, okay, so God, let's do this. We'll catch up. Eh? Uh, and then, you know, I'll go for a couple of months and then maybe I'll not be able to catch up. Your story mm -hmm. to share up with and stuff. And um, I think you've, you've set us uh, on, on a good trajectory um, thinking about also when you think about uh, stewardship and when you think about um, like God expecting us to sort of be accountable in a sense uh, for the 90%, right? Um, are there some ways in which uh, or principles uh, or just ideas or frameworks of mind that can guide us uh, along that conversation? What are some of the things that we can, we can begin to sort of reorient ourselves uh, in thinking about um, the remaining 90% mm -hmm. that we have after we've given to, to God? I think the, one of the things that comes to mind is the example that Jesus, the instance Jesus has with the Pharisees, who at the, some instance they are they're forsaking some things, and but they are still doing the other to do with their giving, and Jesus tells them, hey, yeah, 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 continue with this even as you continue with this, seemingly to suggest that you, th there are some there is there is a sense of relationship with God that will require or will help us understand that, hey, God also expects that, even in intricacies of the little things, the tiny details, he is interested in that as well. And so I, I want to think that when I have that sense of mind, I'm also able to think, how is my spending 
my money for this particular, let's say, subscription? How is this, you know, a good way of spending this money? Or if I were to purchase this at this moment, particular instance, how is this the best, is this the best use of this money in honor of God and for the good of other people at this particular instance? If I have that question before I make that purchase, perhaps okay. this framework of mind will help me realize, maybe I may delay this, or maybe this may be helpful to someone at this instance, I think, at that moment. Wow, so yeah. that, that, that's a good uh, question that you've asked. Um, is this for the glory of God? And is it for the good of man? Is that, is that mm, what you mm, kind of mm, what you said? Mm. Do you always do that when you're like making a purchase and stuff? Uh, you're looking at, uh, you know, uh, Witterbix, you're looking at uh, 50 inch uh, Sony uh, new release 4K vision. Is, is that a question that you. you um, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the example <laughs> here. <Yeah. laughs> but, I'm, but it does it does sometimes make yeah. me delay yeah. that purchase at that because there's sense in which some things when they come, there's certain urgency with which we tend to think like, if I don't do this now, I'm going to miss out on this much. Maybe there's this trip that your, all your friends need to contribute this much and then yeah. you have to do this within this timeline. Or this yeah. offer will never come again. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is a one-time offer and if I miss on this train, man, mm. that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just to say, maybe can I pause first? You know, there are those things that you must pay. You can't say, my rent, I will, let me pray. <laughs> yeah, but Your landlord yeah. won't allow, uh, you know, you to take time and think about it. Yeah, yeah, prayerfully. yeah. It's made me delay, for example, Netflix. Mm. I'm, I keep receiving those uh, emails. Yeah. Uh, that's you know, a, that's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Netflix but, is one of those things, uh, sometimes you're tempted to pay before you even pay tight. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know. then it's <laughs> <laughs> Let me just secure some things. I mean, God, there's no, there's no pressure with, with, you know, type or something of the sort. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Baraka. And uh, Nyado, let, let, let me begin. Uh, maybe we can get up close and personal, right? Okay. <laughs> A little bit. All right. Um, are, there, are there times when you've thought of your maybe own decisions uh, and own stewardship and felt maybe there are things you could have done better uh, and stuff like that? Are you asking for places I've not been a good steward? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one. I fear the rain. So like if it's raining, I don't know. I don't know. I don't dissolve in water. But for some reason, <laughs> when it's raining, I can make a very rational decision. I can yeah. take an Uber. Mm. And so I've found myself, even when I'm running late, and when you look at the amount of money you have spent on that Uber or those Ubers, you're like, no, you would actually have just trains, taken the matatu. They, there's a way in which they become more costly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Serge. So you're like, you look, you look at increase. the money you have spent on uh, taxis, and you're like, no, I know somebody who needed this money. I know someone who had a fundraiser I should have sent. And I'm like, I chose my comfort at, at, at the expense of somebody. And I'm not proud of that, but you asked me. Yeah. So, yeah. No, 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 no. I think all of us, um, you know, when, when Jesus said that uh, where your money is, there your treasure is. I, I don't know if it's that, that what it says. Where your treasure is, where your treasure is where it's heart, the other way around. Yeah, where also. your heart is, um, where your treasure is there, your heart will go also. Yeah. And I think uh, money tends to flow in the direction of our deepest wants, our deepest needs, our deepest desires. Uh, that's kind of where money tends to flow. So I think we all have those things which um, we need to stop ourselves uh, from, from spending. Um, for, for you know, for me, sometimes I won't lie, you know, just, uh, I mean, subscriptions. But yeah, even, even Netflix, I felt you on that one because, <laughs> you know, I can relate to that. Like, I, I, I want to ensure that my entertainment uh, is sort of set <laughs> even before I, I move on. Um, Baraka, you want to you share any, any experiences on your end? I'm thinking the 90 percent, well, when you're talking about the 90, by the way, we're talking about after you've paid your tithe now, the 90 of your budget yeah, from yeah. whatever remains. So, which is, is the big, is the bulk of where everything goes at, actually. Come to think of it, is where the rent goes at, is where family is at, is where all the payments that you have to make, there are those that you must do, there are those that, you know, that just come here and go. Um, for myself, I it's just asking, is there a possibility that there is something that I don't necessarily need, but that I pay for? or that I'm paying for. For example, I buy newspapers sometimes by the end. I, sometimes I, I, get, oh. I, I meet my colleagues and just <laughs> roll in their eyes like, whoa, you guy. Yeah. But then I discovered lately there's actually a digital alternative of that, yeah. which gets you the same number of you know, pages mm -hmm. uh, for the newspaper at significantly less. I don't know, it's like 
five bob or twenty bob or something like that. Mm -hmm. Significantly less. The newspaper is like sixty bob. Yeah, it's also good for the environment. <laughs> Yeah, which is trees, stewardship yeah. of the environment, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But in 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 that regard, I could I could save this forty bob. I know also there is um there is a way in which we can be so petty in terms of like, do I have to factor in every shilling? Like, am I being so petty? In fact, I am. It's just too much math. Like, mm -hmm. I have to balance my books every day. I know people who actually do that, but just just that fact that it's sometimes in the little things. And when you notice, ah, Kumbe is an alternative. Kumbe, I can get this same value at maybe less. Yeah. Or I can, for example, watch YouTube, mm. which I don't have to pay subscription for, instead of paying for this. I'm not saying that anything, this is less, but just that, hey, are there other alternatives of entertainment that will cost me, cost me less? Yeah, so I'm not exactly doing well, but I'm just increasingly being aware that, hey, because there's a day, the other day, actually, <laughs> There's a day earlier, uh, a couple of, uh, I went on a date. Yeah. Ooh, and nice. Uh, this is where, uh, guys, get your popcorn <laughs> ready. Uh, you know, we are in for a treat. Please. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the first date, like, you know, you've met a chick, nini, yeah. you've liked her, nini, and then you, after the date, you give your card, mm. and the bill comes. And then Sorry. you see, yeah. you see <laughs> the amount of money you're paying, my goodness. <laughs> it was, I know, maybe, maybe I'm a cheap guy maybe maybe yeah. guys forgive me if i'm cheap yeah. but i saw i saw i was spending like five thousand seven hundred that was like a first Eish. date Eish. first date i i went i what are you know when I you start uh, when you start uh, setting standards you I need couldn't. to keep them that's our task my friend that's our dog but i couldn't i couldn't help wondering <laughs> could you have gone at a different <laughs> place and spent less on this yeah, particular yeah. event so it I didn't feel, I mean, the <laughs> budget, I couldn't help wondering. Yeah. I, I, like, it is a sign. Yeah. So, nearly feel, nearly feel. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if she's watching. So, <coughs> so there, that's why I had to give a disclaimer. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I think uh, honestly, uh, that one I, I can assure you, um, <laughs> we don't need we don't need to make this like a, a time for confession uh, and stuff. But uh, I think we've all been there, especially as Jamas. Um, there's 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 something that it, it's not us. It's it's it, something just takes control. You know, when when you want to sort of spend on a lady, and uh, yeah, you you tend to forget all your needs. Um, you know how even sometimes when back in the day before Uber and stuff, you would hang out with a chick. Uh, and then you just go and take her to the uh, take her to the mat station, wait for her, watch for the car to go, <laughs> and then forget that actually your mats uh, <laughs> the last one left left ten minutes ago, right? Uh, so I, I can I can assure you, you know we have we have that um, weakness as men, right? Um, and and maybe the question then that I would uh, that was a good segue into um, probably like a final part of our conversation this uh, today is what are some of the ideas or what are, what are the ways that we can actually be sort of better stewards of the 90 percent um are there things that we should keep in mind are there biblical principles and even just uh general guidelines in life uh that should guide us even as we uh look to steward that 90 percent well uh, i would say yes there are principles we can take um there's a place for taking care of other people around us and being able to meet their needs, yeah. which would come from a place of, can I be more simple in the things I do? Can I, do I have to live a very extravagant life that leaves very little margin in my budget to support other people? And so when I know that um, God is molding me in Christ-likeness and Christ-likeness is caring for others, being kind and generous, uh, supporting then I would be, I would, I would curtail my self gratification with the things or the money that I have and the things I do with it so that it provides for more of what I can do for other people. The other way I think about it is uh, after I've given my 10, I am a child of God and everything in the, uh, everything in the world is the Lord's, even myself. So am I using this money in a way that I'm building myself up or taking care of myself, or am I using it in destructive behavior? Uh, 
in a way that you know most god is like i wish this person didn't have this money they are really wasting their lives away or they are really you know drifting away from who I, where i am and what uh, matters to me and for them so uh taking care of other people uh, curtailing my gratification to take care of other people and also taking good care of myself and uh, maybe being responsible with my family and the responsibilities i have um, so that you don't find that um, my children are not i don't i'm not providing for them yet um yeah i have the latest car you know or some, something like that i just need to be able to balance my responsibilities well those are three that come to mind all right oh well, that's that's helpful um, so simplicity, uh, being able to take care of yourself uh, personally and uh, also just for those around you, mm -hmm. uh, your family members um, and stuff. I think that's very helpful. Mm. Uh, Barak, any thoughts? I'm, I'm hearing her and I'm thinking some of those ways would be spending it in such a way that it's serving to sort of even stewardship of your body mm -hmm. in the spending of the money yeah. uh, because if if this particular indulgence or in, uh, will will is is harming my physical well-being which this body is a vehicle that we should be able to be an agent of you know serving others and you know blessing the community or even just living longer if this particular indulgence and i'm spending my money in it then if i can be aware and push back or 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 withdraw from spending in this particular habit and so, some of them may be actually be good things um, that you can afford. I remember when you were kids, we used to desire one day just to be an adult and then I can just lick sugar the way I want. <laughs> <laughs> or just buy chocolate or just buy yeah. fish and just eat alone. Without any restrictions like yeah, yeah, from yeah. rose and stuff. Mm. And so just uh, restraining myself from, from, from certain excesses in such a way that um, I, I may, I may, I may, be, I don't know about other people, but I, I may discover that there are some little monies that are, you know, staying over, and that I, and then I could spend them in other ways that are helpful, even if, it, if it's just for myself. Mm. So that is on one side. Yeah. Um, the other thing I couldn't help but think about when Yado was speaking was the statement that is made by this. Uh, you remember the parable of the talents. And then each is given different talents, mm -hmm. and then one, one, one mentions something to the master at the end about the fact that I didn't, I went and dug a hole and kept this, because I, th you, you are a master. I don't trust you in a sense uh, that you reap where you didn't, didn't sow, and I was thinking about how, thinking about God as a faithful father, and that He will provide for me even in future, and that even he cares about my well-being so that how i'm dealing with the 90 is with the f awareness that mm -hmm. a, my father can be trusted that i can trust him to provide again yep. so that i'm not living as if hey i have to cool it malise we don't know yeah, we, yeah. tomorrow we'll take care of yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah so the, I, I couldn't help but wonder if that's a helpful perspective you have in mind that hey my father who provided for me mm. is faithful to provide again and so i can think about him also as a good father and that he, uh, if he cares about this it's not just because he wants to take away from me but also he can take away so that he gives uh, gives again mm. i think those are very very helpful pointers um <coughs> as you're talking I, I i remembered also uh you know it's interesting first of all by the way that the parable of the talents has nothing to do with like giftings mm. i think when we are when we think about some mm. talents sometimes we think about you know the ability to sing the ability to do this and mm. stuff but it was actually money mm. uh, and everyone was given a different amount uh and, and that, that's the thing i think god gives us uh different amounts based on how he wills yeah mm. for some of us he gives much uh, for others, he gives less, and yet mm -hmm. these both all of them are kind of accountable. Mm -hmm. um, and and I think as you were talking, um, I, I remembered um, something that I've just been thinking about: the fact that Jesus is actually also taught a lot about money. Mm -hmm. um, I think even in previous episodes, uh, it's been mentioned that uh, Jesus has talked about money more than he did about you know hell and heaven. Um, hell and yeah, hell combined, hell and um, mm -hmm. heaven combined. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, one of the things that I pick out is how Jesus is concerned about. Uh, sealing the leaks. Um, mm. You remember when he fed the, like, I think it was a 5,000? 5, and then he says, gather the basketfuls, so whatever remains, uh, so that there may be 
None no may be loss. lost. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, if there was anyone who could make it rain, mm -hmm. it was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like literally, he <laughs> almost kind of like made it rain mm -hmm. uh, with the bread and fish. Um, and yet Jesus was concerned about not wasting. Mm -hmm. um, so I think even just uh, one of the things I've, when I look at my finances and I look at my um, own stewardship, one mm -hmm. of the things that I, I have to keep asking myself and, and I try and ask myself is, what are the places where there are leaks, mm. you know? Um, I have a mentor of mine who, who told me once that, um, you know, you might think of it uh, this way. If you open a tap and it's just dripping kidogo, uh, when you look at it at face value, it's, it's, it's like li it's little. But if you leave it for like one week and you've traveled uh, and you are somehow able to collect that much, mm -hmm. uh, you realize, hey, up IV, we've, I've lost a lot of water. And, and I think that's kind of the same thing mm. with finances. Uh, and stuff, and I think it ties into what you were saying earlier about simplicity. Like, mm -hmm. what are the places and areas that I can actually sort of um, lose, l tighten the belt, mm -hmm. so that I can actually be able to create margin uh, for more uh, acts of service? Let me uh, just give us a few moments to any any closing remarks, um, just on this whole matter of stewardship. Mm. The earth is the Lord, and everything in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he gives um like you mentioned he gives to each of us different portions different measures uh some people earn much some people earn less them it's not like the one who has more is loved more one who has less is loved less but when we remember that the lord who has given me this little or this much still cares for me in his pro in his care for me in his love for me he's given me this much and also that I will give an account to him. We have that in mind that, hey, my father loves me so much, he's given me this much. And my father also is concerned about how I spend this money. Um, what ways will I spend my money to give him utmost glory mm. and be a blessing to serve the good and the best interests of others who are created in his image? Mm. Mm. All right, that's good. That's good. Santa Sana. Nyado? Uh, I think for me, the bigger bit is that my faith is demonstrated even in how I use money. And I think the biggest challenge for me, especially maybe the last one year or so, has been if, if that was put out, what would it look like? Um, I have spent on things that you're like, mm -mm, you should have done better. But I also know there are times I allowed maybe the need that was around me to fuel my my use of resources to the extent that I overgave until I came to learn that I'm not God. You know, like you want to sort that and sort that mm. and sort that and sort that. And in a sense, you take away the place of God in the in the in those people's lives, or you try to play God. And there's only so much you can do. So learning that uh, there are lines that God draws for us. Um, you can give, yes, but you know what? This 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 is sufficient. Uh, there's a place for me to come through for that person. There's a place. So balancing the holding back for self and giving is also a very healthy way to see God using money to glorify himself in and through us so that you are not on the extreme of you're not responsible with your money. Uh, you have not saved. Uh, so a pandemic, like now COVID comes and you're yeah. like, I, I don't have, you mm -hmm. know. And it's because you are not... Uh, balancing all the things you needed to do. We so for me, chance. it has been, help me, Lord, to be, to hold that tension. That yes, I am responsible. I, I, I can cut, sim do the simple so that I'm able to give more, but I'm also able to draw. Uh, this is necessary for this and this and this so that I'm balanced in how I do money. Wow, that's good. I think you should do like a, you know, financial, do you look like financial uh, no, advisory? No, 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 Sijafika, <laughs> maybe <laughs> Nikifika. Next I'm one. happy with By her By the way, right now. guys, um, you know, me, I know, I know Nyato, she's, uh, she's my friend, and, um, you know, she might say, oh, not a good steward and stuff, but uh, we know, we know better. Uh, I think you're a, you're a good steward uh, from, oh. from what, you know, our conversations and stuff, and I can tell that you've, you've, you've done some good work there, and that's, that's good. Try. <laughs> there you have it. Um, I think I, I hope that this conversation has somewhat maybe even just triggered some thoughts, uh, things that you can be thinking about. Um, as, I, as we close here, um, ours is just to remind ourselves that indeed uh, God cares about the 90. 
Um, and I'm reminded of um, the story of John Wesley, one of the guys that was used in the uh, Great Reformation of the 1700s. And he said uh, of money, he questioned and asked the, about this. Uh, he wondered why many civilizations would, um, like he observed that many people, most times in history, what happens is people become wealthy and then they become materialistic and they, then after that, they go into degeneration. Usually now it goes into moral decadence and stuff like that. Things become bad. And then God causes a revival. Um, and then the cycle is sort of completed, um, renews itself. And he said that um, maybe the way to think about it, which I, for me has been very helpful, is um, if you have money, save and spend as much as you can. Give as much as you can, then spend the rest. Wait, um, save and spend as much as you can. Oh, I said, oh, so I said, Nini, save and invest. <laughs> I was, I was so, I, oh, I okay. beg your pardon. Right. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I okay. meant save and invest as much right. as you can. Uh -huh. Then he said, give as much as you can. And then he said, spend the rest. Oh, um, okay. So it, it's, it's kind of the reverse. Uh, personally, I would rather <laughs> spend as much as I can, you know, give as little as I can, and then save whatever is left. Yeah. Uh, but I thought that was a helpful... Uh, you know, sort of like balance. balance yeah. um, I wonder what's your strategy in terms of uh, just managing God's resources, the 90% uh, once you've given to God. Um, I pray that um, you can think about it uh, if you're married, think about it, continue to think about it with your spouse, uh, with your children. friends, with your children. Uh, these are good conversations to have. So, uh, But that's it for today. So from us at Tuesday Connect, uh, this was Baraka, uh, Nancy and myself, Ted, uh, we're glad that we had this conversation and we hope that God blesses you in every way.